The crash landing could potentially bring multiple lawsuits from passengers. Today, News 4 Jax reporter Scott Johnson spoke with a local attorney who has been in touch with numerous passengers to report the flight, and Scott is joining us live from NES Jax. Scott. Mary, over the weekend I heard from some legal experts who told me expect lawsuits to be filed for what happened on this runway. Now, we haven't seen them filed yet, but we are hearing about multiple passengers contacting lawyers. In the days after the crash, John Phillips, whose law office is just upriver from where the plane skidded into the St. John's, started hearing from passengers. Yesterday, we got our first call, and then another call, and then another call. This thing came down, this plane came down very, very fast, bounced. Um, some kind of felt like something was gonna go wrong before it went wrong. Some had no idea and was just enjoying the lightning out the window before um, you know, having their face slam against the seat in front of them. Phillips says his office wants to see the NTSB report and also investigate to see if things like trays were in their upright and locked position and if there were any problems with seats. The focus will likely end up on the charter service, Miami Air International, who I attempted to contact with little success. I was first referred to their 800 number. Please visit our website at www.miamiair.com. Com. But the airline has released a statement saying they are offering $2,500 to passengers as a gesture of goodwill. I, I guess they have to explain to me what, what it's for. Bob Gibson was on the flight and is in the hospital for an unrelated issue. Hey, News for Jack spoke with him again you? today. He tells me he probably won't seek any legal action against Miami Air International. Is this something you're considering? Have you looked into that at all? No, I, I haven't at all. Uh, and. Uh, you know, I'm not really sure what, uh, you know, why I would do that. I don't have a, uh, I don't, I don't have a uh, litigious uh, kind of mind. And I just got off the phone with another passenger who lives in Texas who's talking to his lawyers right now about whether or not he should file a lawsuit, also whether or not he should accept this $2,500 payout. While he has been told that it doesn't necessarily mean it will affect his ability to file a lawsuit, he wants his lawyers to look over the fine print to make sure of that. We're live at Outside NAS Jack, Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station. Thank you, Scott. Our coverage continues on newsforjax.com. Look for updates on this story on the homepage as they come in.